kind of from there, them ne not necessarily going with it, it kind of still was a victory because it was like, okay, somebody told me no and I figured out a way to make it a yes. Exactly. So, um, Hi, and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have James Johnson on the show today. And James Johnson has his own magazine. So we're going to talk about his magazine. We're going to talk about what uh, this can do for you as, as an audience member, as an artist. And we're going to talk about people that you worked with and all kinds of wonderful things. So tell me about your magazine and who it's geared towards. My magazine is Urban Grandstand Digital. Okay. Uh, we have been out for about five and a half years now. And it is geared towards anybody that enjoys music, enjoys entertainment, wants to know what's going on with celebrities from a positive standpoint. Good. I love that from a positive right. standpoint. Right. All positivity. So how has it been? I mean, I just know with an acting studio, I've had struggles and um, I have highs and I have lows. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you, I can't imagine a magazine. Like, yeah. that's hard work. Um, where did you get into this profession and what has it been like owning your own company? You know what? To be honest, um, it's been amazing. Uh -huh. um, it has been taxing, yeah. you know, in a sense. Just, uh, And I think that goes just from and entrepreneurial standpoint in general. Uh -huh. um, it gets really taxing, um, especially when you have a lot of other things going on on the outside and you kind of have everyday life and you still work at nine to five um, and maybe another nine to five or, and you know, just family, right. uh, you know, marriage, kid. Um, it's just a lot. So it does get really taxing, but I went to school for journalism. So okay. this is something that I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, I never really wanted to write for anybody else per se. Right. Um, I've always been the type of person that kind of builds my own opportunities and and can you know use my creativity to really put myself out there. I'm very good at networking. So it it honestly started from me. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So I mean, we have the uh, hip hop group there, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Okay. And it honestly started from me wanting to create a website for them. Really? And initially, I was working for uh, one of the local radio stations there. So there were some things going on, and I was looking to basically get a contact with them to try and, you know, pitch this website and couldn't get the contact. So I said, okay, well, I'll just find it myself. Wow. And, and honestly, that the creating my own opportunities thing really came from that moment because from there, I kind of... I guess did a stakeout and did all kinds of things to find them and find out where they were gonna be. And in the meantime, I actually put together a proposal and had something on paper so that if I did actually get to them, uh -huh. then I could give them something, which I did get to them. Wow. Um, and gave it to them in their hand. And kind of from there, them ne not necessarily going with it, it kind of still was a victory because it was like, okay, somebody told me no and I figured out a way to make it a yes. Exactly. So, um, from there with them not doing anything with the website that, by the way, like I actually had the website built uh -huh. so that when they looked at the proposal, they could actually go to the website and look at the website. Now, at and, this time, five years later, you've worked uh, and had, uh, you've showcased celebrities in your magazine. So who I are have. some of the people that you have? Um, um, I mean, there there's a ton of people because the reality is I've been doing interviews since 2001 okay. like this website with them was 2001 uh -huh. so I, I've had kind of blogs and magazines actually prior to having this having Urban Grandstand Digital uh -huh. but um, over the years like even with the prior blogs and magazines that I've done I mean my first interview was Kelly Price Oh. Um, Kelly Price and Devin the Dude. Um, uh -huh. They actually were both the same weekend. She was by phone. Were you like, yes? Yeah. And <laughs> she was by phone and he was by, he was actually now, in person at his hotel. Them? They actually reached out to me. Really? And I have no clue how they, uh -huh. I still have no clue how they found me. Uh -huh. Like somebody just sent me an email and said, do you want to interview Kelly Price and Devin the Dude? Uh-huh. And they, Devin the Dude was in Cleveland. Okay. So I actually did that at his hotel. Okay. And then um, Kelly Price was by phone. Uh -huh. And from there, Def Kelly Price was with Def Jam at the time. So that connection and doing that interview and that turning out good kind of led to me doing other Def Jam artists. And uh -huh. then before I knew it, I was doing Atlantic artists. And then I was doing Sony artists. And um, I've kind of interviewed a, 
a ton of people. So like Chris Brown, before Chris Brown was really Chris Brown, right. I interviewed Chris Brown and the Little Wings when and Chris the Chris Brown was still innocent? Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was still, he was 16. Wow. So, I mean, I, I've done a lot of people. Um, as far as Urban Grandstand Digital, um, Angela Robinson from Tyler Perry's The Haves and the Have Nots. Um, actually, a variety of characters from The Haves and the Have Nots wow. I've interviewed. Um, I've done a full issue with Faith Evans for the 20th anniversary of her album, um, which she was a part of, and we had an interview with her along with 112 or members from 112 and um, some of some of everybody. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah, a variety so of people. Let's tell. Um, let's say we've got a. I know we've got artists watching this because our our show is geared towards artists. Definitely. But um, how it helps an artist to be showcased in a magazine. To be showcased in a magazine in general is, is it's an amazing opportunity. Um, it's something that's going to get you out there on a much broader scale. Yes. Uh, so many people are reading magazines, believe it or not. Yeah. And with us being digital, we, we have that much more of an advantage because everybody is carrying their phones and everybody has iPads and, and like we have an app. Uh -huh. So you can actually pull the magazine up on the app and, and, and on several apps. So it's not just our app, but it's you know other, other apps as well that you can pull a magazine up and look. And something like that is, is so valuable. Yeah. Um, I think much more than anybody will ever realize because a lot of times people will not know of you in, in yeah. you know any other way. It gives them it gives you it gives the artist credibility. Even people who have been on Definitely. our show, they've used this to get on to other right. shows because then they have somebody to see how they do in an interview right. and what they're doing and you know who their audience is. Right. So And the other piece too is that like like we have we have viewers and we have readers who are outside of the US. So I mean that that's even bigger for you. Right. People are seeing you in other countries right. that otherwise they would not have a clue of yes. who you were. Yes. So I think it's definitely a big thing. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you for five you. years because, you know, five years yeah. is your, they say that's your, you know, that's that's your solid, solid it point. Is. And, and, and that's a lot of work keeping something going for that long. When I tell long. you, like, I, I think the average person, if, if they were running a magazine or doing what I was doing, they would have shut it down a long time ago. I'm telling you. I mean, you. probably the first few years I didn't make a penny. Yeah. So it's like funding this out of your own pocket while yes. you're still trying to pay light gas water yes. phone and everything else and stuff for the kid and yeah oh, everything. I so, understand it completely I tell yeah. people all the time when they when they think they want to uh, do an acting studio because they're an actor and they want to make money I'm like you're not gonna make any money and you are going to have to get out get yeah. out get out yeah and the first two years yeah I, I don't think anybody would have hardly followed me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's crazy and I I, I work a lot uh -huh. So, I mean, I have a full-time job, a PRN job. I drive Uber wow. and, and to, to make everything possible yeah. to publish this magazine on time and, you know, to right. really get things out there. So well, Keep moving and keep climbing. If people want to find out about your magazine, wh where exactly do they go? They can actually go to uh, www.ugdigital.com. Okay, and then they buy a subscription? Is they, can, that... they can subscribe. Okay. They can also buy single issues. Okay. Um, and we're actually working now with our website to build a platform where there can be like full membership and that sort of thing. So actually right now is the best time to go on and download an issue because they're free. Okay. So um, right now they're free, probably okay. in the next couple of months because I do all of the web design and right. everything myself. So right. once I have... The platform built and everything. And if there's yeah. an artist that wants to be showcased in your magazine, they write to the same. They go on your website. Yeah, they can. Go, they can definitely go on the website. Uh, my personal website is authenticallyjames.info. Okay. And they can actually they can go there. They can reach out. Um, they can reach out through uh, publicists, which all of that is listed on the website as well. Um, okay. And. Well, I want to say thank you for your hard work. I appreciate that. Because as an entrepreneur myself, I understand the work yeah. that goes into um, owning a business. And, but it's and worth what you it. Have. It's, like, it's, it's, it's so worth it. You know worth when it. it's worth it? It's worth it when you have that person that says thank you. Sometimes, right. because that first two years, the thank you is all yeah. that keeps you yeah. going. Yeah. It's, and so you really appreciate those thank yous and the, the gratitude. Yeah. It's that and just knowing that you're doing something that you love and like I'm following I'm following my heart like at 41 now yeah. like I'm following my heart and right. doing what I want to do yeah. and and I always say when you have a purpose in life that the purpose does not stop talking to you until you decide definitely to throw your fears away 
and jump into the purpose. Right. Um, I agree with that. So if, if some advice to give to an artist, an upcoming artist, what would you say? I mean, out, outside of, you know, the, the obvious, like, like you got to work hard, you know, at what it is that you want to do. But I just think that in any profession or with anything that you're trying to do, you have to, you got to follow your gut. Like you got to follow your heart and do what makes you happy because in the end, you don't want to spend your whole life going to a job and you hate it mm -hmm. or you don't want to be there. Like, yeah, because there's going to be hardships no matter what, even if right. you love that job. Right, it's going to be hardships it's hard. and you got to deal with stuff and people and management and like just do what's in your heart. Right. And do what you want to do and be happy in the end. Yeah, and know your purpose. Right, know, know your purpose. Your purpose. Well, thank you so much. Thank so you. wonderful meeting you, you and, as well. um, and checking out your magazine. You and as well. Yeah. Um, if this you guys, is huge for me. Yeah. If you guys have any uh, questions for James, if you want to leave some comments, guys, we love your comments because it helps the um, the segment grow with with our audience. So the more you comment, the more Facebook or uh, YouTube or wherever we place it, they'll open it up to that audience. And, and we want to showcase you. So um, you're a part of this and we hope that this segment educated and inspired you.